to another episode of TSL Travels. In this special two-part series, TSL goes to Hokkaido on a self-drive tour. Hokkaido is Japan's youngest prefecture and has a very different vibe from the rest of Japan. Hokkaido is the most popular holiday destination even for Japanese. If you are looking for a different holiday experience and have always been wanting to go on a road trip, Hokkaido is the best place to start. So in this travel video, we'll be showing you the most beautiful parts of Hokkaido and why this should be your next travel destination. It's lunch time and soba is every Japanese comfort food. So right now we're at the famous local soba shop and we're having a try at buckwheat soba. And one fun fact, the shop behind me is over 80 years old. Watching the locals prepare soba was pretty intriguing and we had warm sake before our meal. So this is how you eat soba in Japan and making as much noise as you can is the point. Add chives. The Jiozange is famous for their onsens and now we're gonna dip our feet in the hot springs. Let's go! Wow, it's so pretty! The entrance to the hot springs was amazingly gorgeous. I felt like I was walking through a Japanese TV series. The interior was so cozy and the view was extremely serene. So at the onsen, apart from the relaxing experience, they also provide you with tea, cakes and cookies. We're now at the Sapporo Kokusai Ski Ground and in autumn, we can use the same gondola to head up to see the beautiful view of the autumn leaves. Heading to the ski grounds during autumn was a different experience as most of us are used to seeing it when it's filled with snow. So now we're at the top of the mountain and the place behind me will be filled entirely with snow within one month. I can't wait! So Jiozange isn't only famous for their onsens. When you're here, you can head up a ski mountain or even ride a horse. So we're here at the Wild Mustangs and I'm heading up a horse. So Hokkaido is perfect for self-driving and there are lots of station stops along the way. We are right here at one right now. And in Japanese, it's called Michi no Eki. You can stock up on snacks, on food, get some ice cream and even use the washroom. We're now in BA! So in BA, they are so big on their local produce and now we're gonna check some out. So this is kelp and according to our guide, this is what Japanese love. Because I asked him, oh how do Japanese live so long and live so healthily, he said maybe because everybody loves to eat kelp. It has a lot of minerals and amino acids and all you have to do is add it to your soup. Just behind the market was a huge field of flowers of all colours and types. I've never seen a landscape look so beautifully with flowers before. It was one of the most gorgeous sights you will ever, ever see. So we're at the Blue Pond and this tourist attraction has only been open for less than 5 years. And one fun fact, the view behind me is your Max Queen's wallpaper. The blue colour is due to the natural minerals dissolved in the water. Hello from Singapore! There's no echo. So we're at the Furano Wine House and we're having steak and cheese fondue. So they're famous for the cheese fondue and it comes in this little bread bowl right here. So all you have to do is take this off, dip the bread, like so, and eat. So right now we're at the Somes outlet at Sunagawa and this is a homegrown leather brand. They started out for making horse saddles and now all the leather products here are made in-house. So this brand represents Hokkaido and the people are very proud of it. So the factory that makes all the leather products here is right there. Now off to get some lunch at Top of Hill. So right now we're at Tokachi Hills and this is Japan's leading bean producing area. This is the famous Azuki bean. We're gonna try the soft serve later. So this is their famous Azuki bean soft serve and now let's give it a try. Mm. Do you know the, the potong ice cream that we used to eat when we were younger? This is like soft serve form and it's very good. Mm. Welcome to Shichiku Garden! 
So the story behind this garden goes that this lady's husband passed away 30 years ago and he left her with this huge piece of land. So she decided to do something positive with it and started growing all the plants and flowers and now she's the most popular gardener in the entire of Japan. She's 88 now. So we're at Lake Shikari Beds and look how beautiful this place is. If you have the time, you can even rent one of the boats there and take a little short row out into the stream. So the lake is usually calm and has this mirror-like surface. And as you can see, the mountains form like an upper lip. So can you imagine when it's reflected on the lake, it becomes like a full lip. So we're at the Ginga Waterfall and Ginga in Japanese means galaxy. So in winter, the waterfall behind me turns to ice. So all you have to do is walk 5 minutes by the river and you reach the second waterfall. And this one is called the Yusei. Tonight we're staying at a tatami style hotel and we're gonna sleep on the floor. But these look really comfortable. The hot springs at the hotel were a huge hit as well. Popular with guests looking for some respite from the cold. Do you want a bit of snowman? So it's gonna be minus 20 degrees inside. Let's go. Mm. It's so cold. So this was the wet tower we got when we got in. Ooh, what am I supposed to do with it? Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> so to top things all off, we're headed up into the minus 41 degree room. So this is the coldest that Japan has ever been. I can't speak properly because I'm so cold. Let's go! Okay. Okay. Okay, I okay, can do this. Why freeze? Okay. So it says here, if you push this green button, you experience strong wind. Are you ready for minus 41 degrees Celsius? Are you ready? I am not ready. Just for you, okay? One, two, three. Ueno Farm. So this farm was designed after a popular garden designer called Ueno. Hence the name Ueno. So the designer of this garden, Ueno, went on to design many gardens for local TV dramas such as the Casano Garden. Many people started pouring in from all over visiting her original gardens. Right now we're at Sapporo City and we're going to explore the capital of Hokkaido. So Hokkaido is more than 100 times larger than Singapore and renting a car is the best way to see Hokkaido and all it has to offer. So right now we're at Moere Numa and one fun fact, the hill behind me was entirely made out of rubbish. What? You can rent a bike for just $2 at the entrance of Moere Numa Park. Just take a leisure cycle around the park before heading up the hill because trust me, you'll be so tired from climbing up and down those steps. The view from the top would be surprisingly calming and an amazing experience. Hi, so we're at Moiwa Summit Station and we're headed up to the mountain on a cable car to have dinner at Jewel. End your day with a cable car ride up Mount Moiwa, located in the middle of the city. You get a bird's eye view of Sapporo and it was a perfect way to end our trip. Do remember to layer up and keep yourself warm as it can be really chilly due to the crazy winds at the peak. As we watched the city lights twinkle in the background, we reminisced about our time in Hokkaido and how each light we saw represented a person. We felt truly privileged to be here sharing the beautiful city with them. So now that I've shown you how beautiful Hokkaido is, in the next series, we'll be showing you the best food in Hokkaido. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye! Subscribe to the Smart Local TV. Smiloco.com